In this video, we're going to show you how to change your new body style Silverado manual windows into factory windows and factory lock using almost entirely factory parts besides the alarm system is going to be the only aftermarket part. As you see all factory door panels, factory switches, and same on the other side. Um, detail in this video is not going to be great because I did this video a while back ago and I guess I lost some videos from the beginning. So you're going to see that the door panels or the doors are already completely taken apart because I was getting the truck ready to go to the body shop. So it's going to kind of start with the wiring and I probably should have gone a little bit more detail. But if you know how to read a wiring diagram and you watch the video, you'll be able to figure it out and uh, get your power windows working. So let's get into the video. All right, so here we are on the passenger side. This is the plug from the truck that came off. This is the power window harness. So we know that this wire configuration works for our door open and our speaker wires. So we're gonna find our speaker wires on this side and the wires for the door switch. And we're gonna take them out of this plug and put them in this plug. And then we'll start looking for a power wire in here, ground wire in here, and then we'll have to run the wires to the other side for the door locks and the windows to work from the driver's side also. So let me get started taking these plugs apart. All right, so to take these plugs apart, you're gonna need a flat blade screwdriver, a little pick. You're gonna start by pulling these off. That's what locks the pins, doesn't let them come out. And this is the plug we need. There we go. All right, so just follow it out. We'll see what color our speaker wires are on this side. You could also look at the wiring diagram. But our speaker wires are gonna be the dark green and the light green. Now we got to go to this one. And I know this is our one speaker wire. And this is the other speaker wire. And they're also light green and dark green. So that's pretty easy. So now we just got to find them here. And if I remember, the other side had it in this big plug here. So it's going to be these two that are paired up. And you can take this out also. We're not running through a BCM or anything like that, but we don't have this plug. Or do we want it? So I'm going to take the speaker wires out of this. And just go in there, once you pull the blue thing out, go in there and just put a pick in there and you undo the tab. So these are our two speaker wires. As you can see, they're gonna be a little bit short. So I'll probably just cut this here and I'll splice them together. I like to stagger my crimps, that way you don't get a big ball in the loom. So just kind of stagger it more or less the length of a butt connector. And this one I'm gonna strip back a little bit extra. We're gonna be folding it back. On the other end, we're gonna have two wires, so we're gonna have to use the blue. Now 
now this will be an heat shrink later. I'm just doing all the connections and now heat shrink everything all at once. So that's the speaker wires. Now we got to find these two for the door switch. And on this side, the door switch is going to be this blue and white, according to the diagram here. Right front door switch, dark blue and white, and black. And then there's a light green and black that goes to a door handle switch, but we don't have that. So we just need that. We need to put this dark blue and white in the hole of this black and white one. So we'll just pull it out and swap it over. So we got that one out. Move this over to here. Just slide it in. Takes in place. And now we'll take this black one out. And we'll run the black one from this one into this one. Back over here. That one's out. Now there's two black ones, so you're going to have to use your voltmeter to see which one it is. So, and these are the tools you're going to need for this job. You're going to need a voltmeter to make sure, because apparently GM decided to use the same cutter wires for different things. And a power probe really is going to make your life easier. At the end of the harness, you'll see three plugs. This one's for the door lock actuator. This one's for the door switch. And I've yet to figure out what this is for. So this is that blue and white wire we got, and this is the black wire we got to find. So we're going to have to put a little wire in here because these don't fit in there. So let me get a piece of this wire and I'll strip it. So the black one's the top, Just shove this little piece of wire in there. It's either going to be this one. That one, this one. All right, so it's this one here for the door switch. Pull this pin out. And we're going to move it to where the black one was on this side. And that's pretty much it. This is going to go into the cab. And now everything that was working before in this door will work like that. I'll take the rest of these out because this plug can't plug in because we got this one out. So we'll figure out where these are going to go next. The next thing I want to do is with the power probe, check in here and see what I got as far as power and grounds. Grounds. Nothing, nothing. So I don't have any hots like the other side did. So let me turn the ignition on and see if I get any power like that. So this bottom left one has a 12 volt ignition now. And I also have a 12 volt ignition down here on this other one. So I'm probably going to get my power for the power windows off that lower bolt, um, left there. Which will be this port right here. So I'm going to get the green one from here. 
I move it into here, and now I have 12 volts to my power switch. With all the wires plugged in, the speakers, the door switch, and the window power and ground, we'll plug it in and make sure we got everything where we need it. We need this one here. This is the one that's gonna plug into the switch. So we can get our power probe. Look in the back, go into our green. We got power. Go into our black. We got ground, so that's gonna work. And the other thing you could also check is to make sure you got ground in here. The one we added it earlier. And we should have ground here, which we do. So that's good. Now I'll get the switch, we'll install the switch, and then we'll make sure that we're getting power out of here. All right, so we're back out here at the truck. What I've done is I've pre-wired two relays for the door locks, kind of like the factory setup. And then I wired the alarm into that as well. And we're just going to be sending a positive trigger from the alarm into the relays. And here are all the wires that are going to be plugging into the door. So now I'm going to get the door harness and put the correct plugs on it. Made everything up and then we'll put the switches on and just make sure everything's working as it should. And wire up the relays, feed it power, start checking it out. And what I did to cross over to the other side, I got this 9 conductor speaker wire and i took the top of the dash out to send to the body shop that way it doesn't get full of dust so i ran it up there and it drops to the other side where well, we're going to be putting the plug on that side for that door so we can run the locks from the driver's door and the windows from the driver door so let me go get the harness for the door and we'll start connecting this plug and then i'll show you a video once it's all done all right so here is all the wiring temporarily done This is the piece that goes to the door. Everything's still connected, so if I had to remove the door, I can. This is the wiring here. I also added this plug. And as you can see, if we come over here. Can is our unlock. We hit our unlock on our remote. We get power. We hit our unlock here. We get power. And we also get power on the other side. The windows. On this side is also working. I'm still waiting on the switch to come in for the other side. But there's some kind of problem with the relay. The window right here. That's up. And that's down. So the windows are working. And the automatic window also works. So now we're just waiting on the switch for the other side. I'm going to loom all this up. Heat shrink all the buck connectors and get rid of the old wires. I did not use any of the uh, power mirrors as I already had the manual mirrors and I wasn't going to buy them again. And there was a ton more wires to run to the other side, so I said forget it. And uh, I'll show you what I did to get the power and ground. So to feed the relay, I added this out of circuit fuse. That's what feeds the relay. The ground I have in here, like earlier, and all the wires that are already on the truck that I did earlier. And other than that, you just got to look at the wiring diagram and decide what colors you got and what colors you want to use and connect everything. So let me loom this all up and then we'll uh, see what it looks like when it's all done. All right, well, it's a little later than I wanted and I didn't get a video of installing all the window regulators and door lock actuators, but there's really nothing to it. The same way the old ones came out is the same way the new power stuff goes in and you just connect all the wiring harness. And I uh, will show you on this side how I ran the wiring. Worked perfect. However, for the passenger side, the two places that I found power to, one only gave me power when the lights turned on automatic at night, and the other one, I don't know, it was in and out with the power, so I'll show you what I did now. All right, so here we are on the passenger side. And 
and that plug there is where I got the 12 volt before and I kept having problems with it so what I did I just disconnected it spliced it and I ran a power wire to the other side to the junction box underneath the uh, driver door and I'll show you where I tapped into there here we are on the driver's side and right under here you're gonna find a distribution block and on the second plug up there the one to the right is gonna give you 12 volt with a key on so we'll show you here turn the ignition switch on passenger window goes down passenger window goes up and here we got the driver's one goes up and the automatic down also works and door locks door locks work and the only aftermarket thing is going to be the alarm and there it is lock unlocking locking unlocking other than the alarm system everything else was all using factory parts factory harnesses factory window regulators and factory actuators and everything is working out great and this is the truck after it came back from the body shop so that's going to be it for this video of how to swap over your manual windows to power windows on a chevy silverado using all factory parts none of those little cheap aftermarket window kits or little things you have to invent with rods all factory parts and all the rods and everything connected to the uh, new power actuators as well if you have any com questions or comments you could drop them down in the comments thank you guys subscribe to uh, follow more how-to videos